Hello and welcome to our Arts for All Nevada and Washoe County Schools Art Workshop Programme. Today our project is going to be creating a piece exploring a pr printing technique or stamping using different sizes of circles and three different colours, red, yellow and blue. The materials needed, you'll need a white piece of paper, approximately about 9 by 12 or printer paper, three different sizes of paper cups, a small solid circle, I'm using a cork or you could use bottle tops, a paper plate to put the paint in and our red, yellow and blue tempera paint or washable paint. Before we start I'd like you to show you a piece of artwork by an artist called Vasily Kandinsky. This is a colour study, squares with concentric circles that was done in 1913. In this he uses lots of different sizes of circles that go inside each other, a bit like making targets with lots and lots of different colours. He loved exploring colours and how they look together and this piece, although it's very famous, was never actually meant to be shown um, in an exhibition. It was purely done for him to use in his own work to give him some ideas of what colours worked well together and which ones clashed and stood out from each other. I love the way that some colours go together. This one's like a hot colour of circles together and some really stand out and clash. Maybe like this one with the purple against the yellow and then the dark green. I also like the way that not all his circles are perfect. Some of them even look a little bit square or they've got edges to them. And remember when we do a piece of work it doesn't need to be perfect. I'd like you to read you a book today which is based on the ideas of circles and different sizes of circles and it uses our three colours that we're going to use today and it's called Press Here. Ready? Press here and turn the page. Great! Now press the yellow dot again. Perfect. Rub the jump dot yet gently on the left. It changed to red. Well done. And now the one on the right gently. Fabulous. Five quick taps on the yellow. One, two, three, four, five. And five taps on the red. One, two, three, four, five. And finally, five taps on the blue. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Try shaking the book just a little bit. Not bad, but maybe a little bit harder. There, well done. Now tilt the page to the left just to see what happens. I think that's enough. And then to the right, a little bit more. Excellent. Shake the book one more time just to get everything back in order. Mmm, interesting. Now try pressing down really hard on all the yellow dots. One, two, three, four, five. That's funny. Turn the lights back on. Now try pressing them all again. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Hold on. Two of those dots seem to have switched places, but which one? So it looks like a pattern. So let's go red, yellow, blue. Red, yellow, blue. Red, yellow, blue. Red, oh, should be yellow. I think these two are in the wrong places. Now press hard on all the dots, really hard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, not bad. Shake them up a little. Perfect, isn't it? Try blowing on them to get rid of the black. Ready? <gasps> 
Mmm, maybe a little bit harder. <gasps> Oops, that might have been a bit too hard. Stand the book up straight to make those dots drop down again. There you go. Now that's perfect. Now clap your hands once. Whoa! Clap twice. Three times. Too loud, quick press the white dot. Bravo. Want to do it all over again. It says back to beginning this way. But if we have a look at the back of the book, oh, we've got our three colors of dots, our yellow, our blue, and our red. And we're gonna use those dots to do our piece that we're gonna to do today. So those three colours that I keep talking about, the yellow, the red and the blue, are our primary colours. So they are the blue, the yellow and the red. And they're our three special colours because if we have those colours we can mix them and make other colours. So if I mix a yellow and a red together. We will get orange. If we mix red and blue together, we will get a purple. And if we mix yellow and blue together, we will get a green. So by mixing our primary colors together, we can make other colors. Today we're gonna to look at using lots of different types of circles. So a circle has a curved line that goes all the way around, has no edges to it, or no corners I should say, and just one edge that goes all the way around. But the circle can be big or small. It could be one that's coloured in so it looks solid. So what you can do when we finished our project is maybe you could go on a treasure hunt round your house and see if you can find different sorts of circles. I've got a button and I found a little ball. I found cotton reel, the circle, and I also found a cookie cutter and circle. So maybe you can see if you can find some more and maybe even bigger ones than the ones that I found. Overlapping is another word that we're going to use a lot today. So if I've got my circle, we've just got one shape. But if I put another circle next to it and it goes over the top of it, so it overlaps it, we create another shape in the middle. So we may do some overlapping with our circles today to find some other shapes. So let's get on with our printing and see what we can create. So you need your paper. Paper plate with some red paint, some blue paint and some yellow paint. And we've got our three cups. So I'm gonna start with the yellow and put a small cup inside my yellow. And I'm gonna press down, I'm gonna do three. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna do the same in the red. One, two, three. And you decide where you want to put them. You don't have to put them in a line. I'm actually going to start overlapping. We're going to one, two, three. And then I'm going to go up to my next size. So this is a slightly bigger circle. So you can get a slightly bigger line. One, two, three. Three. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're going to go right up to our big cup that I've got here. One, two, three. Cover the whole of your paper. If it goes off the edge, it's okay. Just make sure you've got some covering on your table. So I've covered the whole sheet of paper. Some of them, you can see things are starting to happen where the colours mix together. We're getting some of our other colours. So I've got a green coming there. I've got some orange where this mixes. You can leave it like that. Or what you might like to do with our corks, I put some yellow on this and I'm going to mix this with my blue over here. I'm going to get some green. So let's do one. Two, I think we can do five on this one, so let's do some more. Three, four, five. Let's put some red on this cork and mix it with our yellow. One, two, three, oh, four, five. And let's put some blue and mix it with our red and get some purple. One, two, three, four, five. So see which color, what colors you make by mixing those together. You won't get exactly the same colors as mine. You might have a bit of a different orange or a bit of a different green, but you will make other colors by mixing them together. If you've done that, you can leave it to dry. It might take a little bit of time to dry because the paint's quite thick. You may like to play around with this a bit more, see what else you can make. Maybe you can see if you can make a picture by, maybe we're gonna have our patterns, our yellow, our red, sorry, our yellow, blue and red. And I'm going to repeat that again, yellow, blue and red. Maybe we can take this into can you see what it's going to be? If you've got a long piece of paper, you might do a really long wiggly one. Maybe you're going to make a caterpillar. Maybe you could make a flower with your printing. Or maybe you can go around your house and find different things that you can print with, different sorts of shapes. These were cookie cutters that I found. You could play around with making different designs from there. Pieces of Lego. See what sort of different make, uh, shapes you can print with. You, have, you can turn your cups the other way around to get different prints with them. Play around and see what sort of marks you can make. Thank you for joining in today. Enjoy your printmaking and we hope to see you the next time. Thank you.